Hello everyone, welcome back to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorials. Slide Hunt provides free video tutorials on programming languages. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appears at bottom right corner. Or you can visit my YouTube channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. Okay, let's back to our topic. In our previous tutorial, we learned a simple searching algorithm named linear search. And in this tutorial, we will learn another type of searching algorithm named binary search. So let's see how to find an item in the array using binary search. Here we take a sorted array named A. Sorted means elements are stored either in increasing order or in decreasing order. Here the elements are stored in increasing order. The array has 10 elements and the elements are stored in the indices from 0 to 9. Here we find the element 12 and we call it as item. So now item equal to 12. We check either 12 is present in this array or not. If 12 is present in this array then search is successful and we point out the location or index where it is stored. So what we do here, here we compare item with the element of the array. In linear search we start to compare from the first element. But in binary search we compare item with the middle element of the array. Now the question is how to find the middle element. We calculate middle element as mid equal to start plus n by 2. Start indicates the starting index and end indicates the ending index. Initially start is 0 and end is 9. Because initially whole array is our search phase. So mid equal to 0 plus 9 by 2 that is equal to 4.5. But here we consider only the integer part that is 4. So the element at index 4 is the middle element. Now we compare 12 with 21 and there can be three cases. Case 1 item equal to a of mid. Case 2 item less than a of mid. And case 3 item greater than a of mid. If first condition is match, we found the element and search is over. If item less than the middle element, then item exists before the middle element. Because the array is in sorted order, and we discard all the elements after the middle element and the middle element also. If item is greater than the middle element, then item exists after the middle element. So we discard all the elements before the middle element and the middle element also. So in case 2 and 3, we discard half of the array and the search space is reduced. Here we compare 12 with 21. 12 is less than 21, so we discard all the elements from index 4 to 9. And after discarding, our reduced search space is this. Starting index is at 0 and ending index is at 3. Now we find the middle element. It would be 0 plus 3 by 2 that is equal to 1.5. We consider the integer part, so the middle element is at index 1. Now we check these three condition. If 12 equal to 7, no, it is false. Then we consider the case 2. 12 less than 7, no, it is also false. Then we check the case 3. 12 greater than 7, yes, it is true. So we discard the element at index 0 and 1. And after discarding, our radio search space is this. Now we find the middle element mid equal to 2 plus 3 by 2 which is equal to 2.5 here we take the integer part so middle element is at index 2 now we compare item with the element at index 2 yes item is present here and the search is successful next we write the algorithm for binary search here a is an array with n elements an item is the given item of information to be searched for. First we assign start equal to 0 and end equal to n minus 1. 
initially whole array is our search phase that's why we assign start equal to 0 and end equal to n minus 1 next we write a condition while start less equal to end because here we reduce the search space recursively by adjusting the start and end index but we need a termination condition to come out of this loop there is two conditions to come out of this loop either we find the element then we return the index and come out of this loop or start greater than end means item is not found in the array when start less than end means we have the search space when start equal to end then we have only one element in the search space and when start greater than end means we exhausted the search space and come out of this loop ok if this condition is true then we find the middle element mid equal to start plus end by 2 next we check item equal to middle element or not if this condition is true then search is successful we return the index mid and exit from the function but if this condition is not true then we check the second condition if item less than a of mid if it is true then we need to discard all the elements that are greater than or equal to the middle element and our end search space will be mid minus 1 if these two conditions are false then we made the third condition that is item greater than a of mid and we need to discard all the elements of index less than or equal to mid so start index will be mid plus 1 if is ended here then while is ended if this loop does not return any value means no match is found then we return minus 1 to indicate item is not present in the array ok next we learn how to calculate the complexity the complexity is measured by number of comparison to locate the item in the array A in the best case the item that we are looking for is present in the middle of the array and we need only one comparison so best case complexity is big O of 1 in the worst case we continue to reducing the search space until it has only one element so if the array has n elements then n will be reduced to n by 2 then n by 2 to n by 4 n by 4 to n by 8 and this process is continue until the search space becomes 1 so if we consider we need k step to reduce from n to 1 then we can write it as n by 2 to the power k equal to 1 if we solve this we will get k equal to log n base 2 so the worst case complexity is big O of log n ok next we will write a code for this algorithm in C programming so let's move to the coding section here we write a program that will take 10 integers as input and search for an item enter by user so let's start here i have already written the main function it is similar to the linear search first we declare some variables then we ask user to enter array elements to read elements we used here scanf function next we use another printf statement to ask user enter item this scanf function is used to read the item that user enter next line we call a function named binary search and the function takes three parameters first parameter is an array second parameter is number of elements and third parameter is the item that you want to search for next we will define this function since the function returns an integer value so I am going to write here int binary search and it takes three parameters int star a int n and then int item inside the function I am going to initialize start equal to 0 and end equal to n minus 1 we need another variable to hold the middle index that is int mid next we write here a condition while 
start less equal to end. Inside this loop, we will find the middle index mid equal to start plus end by 2. Now we check the three conditions. First condition is if item equal to equal to a of mid. If this condition is true, then we return mid and come out of this function. If it is false, then we check the second condition. Else if item less than a of mid. If item is less than the middle element, then we set end equal to mid minus 1. If this condition is also false, then item is greater than a of mid, means item exists after the middle element. And we set start equal to mid plus 1. Else start equal to mid plus 1. If this loop does not return any value, then we return minus 1. Function definition is completed. Let's back to the main function. The value that is written by this function is stored to the variable i. So we check the condition if i equal to equal to minus 1. If i equal to minus 1, then we print item not found. Else we print the index of the item. The last thing that we need to do, we need to declare the function prototype. So I am going to copy it and paste here give here a semicolon ok our program is completed let's run it compile and run please enter array elements I am going to enter 5 7 12 15 21 24 27 30 31 and 33 press enter enter item I am going to enter 12 and it print item is at index 2 ok run it again enter array elements I am going to enter the same element press enter enter item I am going to enter 25 and it print item not found because 25 is not present in the input array this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more videos these are some other videos of our channel to watch this video just click on it get in touch with us visit us on youtube at youtube.com slash slide hunt Join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt. Follow us on Twitter and Google+.